Welcome to another video. The mission is to find the floor of the log base 10 of this integral. Now the floor is not the problem. The log base 10 is not the problem. The integral itself is the problem. And this was what I was trying to solve when I started researching and found out that there was something called the incomplete gamma function. And this was question number five for the 2022 MIT integration B final. And this was the toughest question, but I found out that it was super easy if you use the incomplete gamma function. Let's get into the video. So what I'm gonna do is try to write it in a way that makes a lot of sense so we won't be repeating all of this. I'm going to represent the log function here. Here, I mean the integral function here, I'm just gonna call it i. So that the value we're looking for, let's call it, uh, let's say l will now be equal to log to base 10 of i. Okay, so with this, what I'm going to do is, we're gonna try to rewrite this so it conforms with the standard form of the incomplete gamma. Okay, remember the incomplete gamma, um, your function has to look like some, let's call it a to infinity of t to the, let's call this, let's call it s minus one, because I noticed that in the last video, I was messing up the um, notation because I was trying to over explain, but I'm just gonna keep it in the standard form, e to the negative t dt. So this is what you want your function to look like. Okay, so, but what we have is just this. So let's try to rewrite this argument to look like this. So our focus for now is going to be this guy. So we know that 10 to the negative x cubed is the same thing as, we're going to write it with base e, it's going to be e to the natural log, so these two cancel each other out, it's going to be 10 to the negative x cubed. But we know that this is the same thing as e to the negative x cubed natural log of 10. Okay, so let's do a u substitution or let's do a t substitution this time. So we say let t be equal to x cubed ln of 10. Then we know that dt will be, if we differentiate this, going to be 3x squared ln of 10. What else do we need? We need, um, we need dx, sorry. So we need dx. If we divide both sides by this, we're going to have, uh, we know that dx is now going to be dt over this is going to be dt over 3x squared ln of 10. Now, remember that when we do a change of variable, you can't have the variable that you're trying to get rid of still in here. So we have to go back to this substitution and try to see what x squared is going to be if we wrote it in terms of t. So let's just do the rough work here. So we can replace x squared in this, our formula, with this. And by the way, when you bring this down here, the t stays down, the ln of 10, well, the ln of 10 also can be here. Okay, let's do the work. So we see that dx is now going to be equal to so if we clean this up, this is going to be dt over, well, this canceling this, this is going to be 1 minus this, so it's going to be 1 third, and this is going to be t to the third, so this is 3t to the 2 thirds, ln of 10 to the 1 third. Ah, interesting. So we can say dx is equal to 1 over 3 t to the negative 2 thirds ln of 10 
to the negative one third. Okay, that's what dx is. Interesting. <laughs> so it's just the algebra that gets complicated. We're still gonna do some extra algebra. Okay, so now let's write our i. So we got i is now equal to the integral the argument of our integral is just this guy now, 10 to the negative x cubed, but we said 10 to the negative x cubed can be written this way, which is e to the negative t. Remember, this is our t, so it's going to be e to the negative t times dx, but we said dx is all of this, so it's going to be t. Whew. But there's still something. We haven't changed the bounds. Let's quickly change the bounds because that's where the incomplete gamma shows up. So if we evaluate t at 2022, okay? t evaluated at 2020, 2022 for value of x, we said t is this, it's going to be 20, 22 cubed times ln of 10. That would be our lower bound. 2022 20, cubed ln of 10. And the top part, if you put infinity, t evaluated at infinity is going to be just infinity cubed times ln of 10, which is still infinity. So all we have to do is clean this up. We know this guy stays inside, this guy stays inside this goes out so these two will go out okay so we can say let's erase this over 3 ln of 10 to the one third i should have left this in the denominator i don't want that negative exponent and then inside we have the integral of 2022 cubed ln of 10 to infinity of t to the negative 2 over 3 e to the negative t dt. Here we go. Here we go. Now this, this part here, is the incomplete gamma. So this is the incomplete gamma. We have, we're going to have s comma, let's call it x like I did in the previous video, so I am consistent. So this is gamma s, starting your approximation from x. In this case, this is the value of x, okay? In some texts, this is written as a, so I might as well use a, so it's easier. Uh, let's do a. So it means that our a equals 2022 cubed ln of 10 and our s, remember that this is always s minus 1. Whatever is here is s minus 1. And whatever is here is whatever is here plus 1. So the actual number that is here is what would you, if you subtracted this, subtracted 1 from a number, you get this. That number has to be 1 third. Okay, so remember that that's what we have. In this case, our s equals 1 over 3. Because what is here, remember, t to the s minus 1 is what you have for the gamma function, e to the negative t. Okay, so it means this is one third. That's what you need to recognize. This is the gamma of one over three comma a. I can't write the a because the a is too long. So this is all you need to know. Now there's one more thing, it is called Ah, because you can't compute this using the formula I gave you yesterday for the incomplete, the upper incomplete gamma. So you have to recognize that if the factorial that you're trying to compute is a small number and the value of A is very big, after a while, there will be almost no contribution coming from S. It will be mostly all about A. So the Laplace, it is called the Laplace large a asymptotic behavior, okay? So after a while, this integral is basically the integrand at this point, okay? Let me write that. 
So what we're saying is, remember that the values of t are between this number and infinity. Those are all the numbers you're plugging in. That's what this is because this is the, those are the bounds of the integral, okay? So we're saying that when s is small and a is a large number, you might as well just plug in that a into this integral. So this is a to the s minus one and that. And that is the only twist in this integral because then we can go back and say i will now be equal to one over three ln of 10 to the one third multiplied by this integral, but now we know by this Laplace large, asymptote, large A asymptotic, let me put it this way, okay, is that this is basically A to this, okay? So what's our A? It is 2022 cubed ln of 10 raised to power S minus one is just this number, negative two thirds, negative two over three E to the negative A. What is negative A? It is this number, oof, 2022 cubed ln of 10. That's it. Don't forget, once we're able to simplify this, we just need to go plug it in here. Take the, natu the log base 10 of I and we have our answer. We can take the floor. So let's clean this up. Okay, here we go. Here, we said 10 to the x cubed is e to the negative that cubed ln of 10. So we might easily just go back and rewrite this because the only thing that has transformed is the x became 2022, 2022, that's it. So this is basically 10 to the negative 2022 cubed That's it. Let's go here. Oh, let's take care of this first. This ln of 10 raised to negative two over three, when it comes here to multiply this guy, both of them will become, this becomes positive here. When you multiply, when you add, it becomes ln of 10. Ha! Ah. So this is, one over three times one over ln of 10 times one over 2022 squared. That's it. So I'm gonna rewrite it and make it cleaner, okay? But I just saw all the complications, this one, took care of this, one third stays, this one becomes beca became 2022 to the negative two, which is the same thing as this, and this were already resolved. So now if we take the base 10 of this, we have log base 10 of i will be equal to applying the laws of logarithms. If we take the log base 10 of the top, it's just gonna be this one because the base 10 will cancel this. So we have negative 2022 cubed, and if we take the log base 10 of this, it should be minus um, log base 10 of this expression. Let's write it as three times 2022 squared ln of 10. Whew. We are done because now we have this whole thing. We just need to know the floor of this function. And when you're dealing with floors, you just wanna look for the greatest integer that is less than or equal to this. You can do two sides, but I'm gonna to try to do just one side. Observe one thing, because this is, this is the one, because we're writing in base 10, so we're not sure. So 2022, observe that 2022 is basically greater than 2000. Okay, so because it is greater than 2000, it is definitely equal to two. I mean, 2000 is two times 10 cubed. That's 2000. Oh, when you square it, it will be greater than the square of this, 
which means it is greater than 2 squared times 10 to the sixth. Okay, I'm just trying to save some space there because we got to do two. Okay, nice. So the next thing I want to consider is if I bring this guy in, three, I know that three times 2022 20, squared is greater than if I multiply this by three. So what's three times four is 12. It's greater than 12 times 10 to the sixth. Now, if I bring natural log of 10 in, the natural log of 10 is 2.3. So the natural log of 10 is greater than two and it is less than three. And we're still doing, dealing with greater than, so it's greater than two. So we know that three times 2022 20, squared ln of 10 is definitely greater than two times 12 times 10 to the sixth, which is equal to 24 times 10 to the sixth. So this is greater than 2.4 times 10 to the seven greater than 10 to the seven, yeah. So this is greater than 10 to the seven. Nice. Ta -da 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 -da. So we know that this quantity here is definitely greater than 10 to the seven, right? Okay, so let's keep that. Okay, I just did the summary of this and I said that this is greater than the log base of 10 to the seven and this we know is gonna be seven. And if you switch the signs to negatives, then you just need to change this. So this is also less than negative seven. So now the second part of it is for you to say um, all the approximations I did. You see how I said two, 2022 is greater than 2000. You might as well. 2022 is less than 3000. If you use that, you're going to come to a similar conclusion. Similarly, you'll come to a conclusion that negative log base 10 of 3 times 2022 cubed ln of 10 is actually greater than negative eight. So this thing that you have here, log 10 base i, is between this number minus eight and this number minus seven. So we say therefore, negative 2022 20, cubed minus eight is less than log base 10 of i, and it is less than negative 20, 22 cubed minus seven. So clearly we have seen the floor of this function because this is between two integers, then the one on the left must be the floor of it. So we say, therefore, the floor of log base 10 of i is equal to negative 2022 20, cubed minus 8. And this was the approved answer by MIT. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.